So it was a beautiful, hot summer day in Helena, Montana, when I decided to take the Mavic Air 2 out for a spin. I was flying along, having a good time, when all of a sudden, this happened. Please subscribe and click the notification bell. So I was flying from inside my work truck, you might remember from working hard on a pivot. And I just wanted to try taking it to the maximum altitude because I was in an altitude zone. When all of a sudden I got this warning. Maximum flight altitude reached. Danger Will Robinson, danger, no Will Robinson, danger. This caught me off guard because I thought with AirSense you had some kind of audio warning. I've had planes fly above me plenty of times before, but I've never actually had the alert come up. So moments before this, I was just goofing around trying to reach maximum altitude, mainly because I wanted to drain the battery down and land this thing. This is the first time the AirSense has gone off for me, and I start lowering the altitude immediately. As I was staring at the map, I actually thought this plane was going to fly right above me. Needless to say, I continued to drop my altitude. Just like all drone pilots, the last thing in the world I'd ever want to do is to be the cause of an airplane crash. And before I knew it, there it was, right in front of me. I almost couldn't believe my eyes. Helena has a small airport and there's not a lot of planes to take off there. So I was pretty surprised to see this big jumbo jet. So the answer to my question, does DJI AirSense work using ADS-B transmitters? Surprisingly, yes, it does work really good. And it's in real time action that I saw all this. This is just one more feature on the Mavic Air 2 that makes it one of the best drones on the market.